वेलकाम टू सुपिरियर प्रफिट उइकलि मार्केट राउंड आप टेंथ नवेम्बर टू थाउजेंड एट्टीन आई एम सागर नंदी चीफ एनालिस्ट एंड ट्रेडार एट सुपिरियर प्रफिट बेस्ट इन सिंगापुर आई उल नट टेक टाइम टू इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड टू नो मोर एबाउट मी द कम्पानी सुपिरियर प्रफिट और मोर इम्पर्टेंटलि हाउ इट मे हेल्प इन योर ट्रेडिंग यू मे भिजिट द वेबसाइट superior profit dot co and click on the about menu before we begin we go through the standard disclaimer this demonstration is for educational purposes only it is designed to share information on superior profit trading system the information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading past performance is no guarantee of future return Superior Profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual in today's topics, we'll analyze oil and gold using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. When we swing trade, we like to align the trades in the market's direction. We will study market's direction using market breadth of Nasdaq and NYSE as well as technical analysis of market ETFs. In addition to aligning trades with market direction, we like to align them with the industry strength. We will study industry strength using scorecard and heat map. Along the way, we may review some of the recent examples shared in Q Traders Forum and look for potential trades for the coming week. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We begin our commodities analysis with oil. We are looking at the oil ETF USO using weekly backdrop chart and daily hop on chart. Together we call this at a glance template because it helps us decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge of the chart in only a few seconds. In the weekly chart, after displaying the bearish shape candle and creating a false upside breakout at the level where the bearish headwind came earlier, US oil has dropped significantly. One week ago, we had a magenta color candle that was a possible trend following short signal. Normally, we don't like to take a shot if price is already below the lower boundary levels. However, in the last market roundup, I discussed why you could still take the shot in this case. That was because when the daily magenta color candle came, in the weekly chart, price was breaking below this memory support trend line. The memory support lines provide robust support and breaking of memory support indicates weakness. Therefore, when this daily magenta color candle came, you could take a shot at the close of that day, put stop just above recent high and by now price has dropped a lot to give a very high reward risk ratio. In the weekly chart, the candle continues to be very bearish. In this case, there is no need to book full profit in US oil short position. You could book partial profit with discipline and continue to hold remaining position with a trailing stop so that the entire trade is risk free from now onward and you try to let profit run at the same time. Gold ETF GLD. In the last market roundup, the weekly candle was bullish both in color and shape. 
However, in the daily price was going in down up down up fashion. Looking at that, I had commented that you might wait for a clearer trend in the daily chart before taking any trade in GLD. Gold is continuing to show up down up down move in the daily chart. The weekly candle color and shape both have turned bearish. There is no clear trend and there is no swing trade opportunity in gold right now. From commodities analysis, we move on to market breadth analysis. Market breadth shows us the strength or weakness of the market by looking under the hood. We are looking at NASDAQ Composite Index and NYSE Composite Index, both using weekly charts, along with three pairs of internals, new high-low, advanced decline, and up-down volume. In the weekly chart, both NASDAQ and NYSE went up. However, both ended the week with upper tails. That is not showing the complete strength of the bulls. Over longer term weekly chart, trends in both NYSE and NASDAQ continue to be downtrend. Though prices went up, internals are not showing the strength. Out of the six internals, all of them closed below zero, and five of them the ones in magenta color went down this week. In summary, we may conclude that the longer term weekly charts of the broad indices are in downtrend and for this specific week, market breadth is bearish. In this market, it may be easier to take short trades and make profit than to take long trades. Let us see if the broad market ETFs give us the same conclusion. S&P 500 ETF SPY Earlier SPY dropped heavily in the weekly chart and for two successive weeks it went up. This week's candle color is bullish cyan however the candle has an upper tail that is not so bullish. In the daily chart, price fell below the lower boundary level. It displayed a bullish headwind. Soon after that, price started to go up. This week, we had USA midterm elections. Prior to that and after the result, price went up. However, on Thursday and Friday, price pulled back. Friday, price closed lower. However, the candle ended with a long lower tail. In the weekly chart, the candle color is cyan. If next week price starts to go up, gives us a cyan color candle in the daily chart that may give us a trend following long trade opportunity using go with flow trade setup. NASDAQ ETF QQQ NASDAQ dropped after displaying a bearish headwind signal in the weekly chart at the very top. This week price went up little bit. However, the weekly candle ended with neutral color yellow color and with an upper tail. That is not very bullish. In the daily chart, price went up after midterm election. However, pulled back on Thursday and Friday. Friday's candle closed below the gap up open after election results came out. QQQ is weaker than SPY 
if the market starts to go up next week, it may be easier to take a long trade in SPY than QQQ. Dow Jones Industrial Average DIA. This is the strongest of the four market ETFs that is shown by the relative performance line strongly going up. This week we have a bullish color candle. The candle has an upper tail however that is small relative to the size of the body. In the daily chart after displaying two bullish headwind signals DIA recovered strongly On Thursday and Friday it pulled back little bit. The weekly candle color is bullish. Therefore next week if price starts to go up gives us a cyan color candle that may signal a trend following go with flow long trade opportunity. Russell 2000 ETF IWM after displaying bearish headwind in the weekly chart, it dropped sharply. IWM is the weakest of the four market ETFs that is shown by the relative performance line sharply going down. This week price slightly went up, however ended with a very indecisive shape doji like candle and the candle color is also neutral. In the daily chart price recovered from the lows however this is the only ETF that is staying below both the yellow and the white direction lines. If the market starts to go down from here then IWM may be the one to give low risk short trade opportunity before the other ETFs. From the market breadth study, we saw that longer term weekly charts for NASDAQ and NYSE are bearish. The internals are weak this week, also bearish, whereas the market ETFs are giving us mixed picture. They recovered from the lows. Some of them like SPY and DIA may give Showing long trade opportunity if market goes up next week, whereas IWM may give showing short opportunity if the market goes down. You may wait to see where the market is going before taking the next swing trade. Exactly where to take those trades, we can decide that from sector and industry analysis taking long positions in strongest sectors and industries and taking short positions in weakest sectors and industries. Let us have a look at the sector and industry analysis now. Four week sector performance analysis. We are looking at the 11 sectors across three review periods. Red bar represents performance of this week. Green bar represents performance of one week prior to the red bar. And blue bar represents performance of two weeks prior to the green bar. Together they represent four weeks or about one month of performance. Any bar going to the right of the zero line shows the sector went up and any bar going to the left of the zero line shows the sector went down. This week six sectors went down, five went up showing a mixed picture at the sector level. Defensive sectors did better than others which shows a risk averse outlook of investors. The defensive sectors that did well are real estate, utilities and consumer staples. 
all went up this week. Five of the worst performing sectors of this week were big gainers one week ago. All of them had gone up by more than 5% last week. These are information technology, healthcare, materials, consumer discretionary and communication services. Last week's up move might have persuaded some traders into buying stocks. They must be disheartened seeing the sectors decline this week. Q traders did not take new long positions. In the previous market roundup, I mentioned that low risk trades would be found in the short and not in the long direction. Based on that analysis, Q traders might stay away from taking new long positions and would not have to incur a loss at the sector's decline this week. The sectors are displaying a mixed picture and that picture is evident from the sector heat map and scorecard as well. Sector scorecard and heat map using QEdge. QEdge analyzes the 11 sectors across 12 monthly review periods M1 to M12 and then more frequently for recent periods 10 days, 5 days, etc. Cyan color represents strength, magenta color represents weakness. Real estate and utilities are the best performing sectors this week. Consumer discretionary and communication services are the worst performing sectors. Therefore, if you are looking for a long trade, you might look for them in real estate and utilities. If you are, and if you are looking for a short trade, you might look for them in consumer discretionary and communication services. How far? If you look more closely, you will see that most of the sectors are shifting between magenta and cyan over 10 days and 5 days periods, showing that there is flip-flop move going on in most if not all the sectors. This may not be the best time to take directional trades. However, when you drill down to the industry level using the industry strength and then fundamental strength and technical strength, you can always find low risk trade opportunities. These are the 360 degree trades that you can find using Q systems. Let us try to find such opportunities from the industry level analysis now. Best performing industries of this week. We are looking at the industries 5 days and 10 days scores. For some of the industries, from the scores, we can see that they were strong from one week earlier itself. And some of the industries gained strength this week. Because these are the best performing industries, you were going to look for long trades in these industries. Food distributors was one of the best performers. In this industry, PFGC and USFT both have high earnings growth in the latest quarter. USFT is optimally valued as well. Therefore, you had several factors in favor of a long trade in PFGC and USFT. The industry strength as well as the fundamental strength. PFGC and USFT both gap up after earnings. Earnings was this week and closed higher by 11% and 7.8% respectively. You may watch these stocks for a possible trend following go with flow long trade setup in the coming days. You could identify these 
trade opportunities using top-down analysis starting with industry strength analysis from QEdge. Let us have a look at the best performing industries from QEdge industry scorecard and heat map. Locate food distributors and then drill down to PFGC and USFT. QEdge industry scorecard and heat map. The best performing industries of the week are shown using cyan color under 5 days column. Food distributors is an industry that is strong this week. Looking to the right from the magenta color, you can see that the industry was weak earlier. It seems to be turning around. If we find a buy opportunity in food distributors that could end up being a swing long trade opportunity as well as a long term buy opportunity. For that, we will look for fundamentally strong stocks in this industry. You could identify them by drilling down into the industry. These are the stocks in food distributors industry. From the heat map, you can instantly see that both PFGC and USFT has strong earnings growth in the latest quarter, both going up by more than 25%. USFT is optimally valued as well. We know that from the valuation score being in cyan color. Therefore, we identified an industry that is strong and is strengthening and two stocks in that industry that have significant earnings growth and one of them is a value stock as well. The last step would be to see if there is a technical buy point on the charts. USFT it had a sharp drop while the industry was weak. Then for three weeks, the weekly candle color turned yellow neutral. This week had earnings, price strongly went up. The weekly candle turned cyan, bullish and the shape is also bullish. Price went up with very high activity. In the daily chart, price created a false downside breakout, gapped up after earnings and now moving sideways. There is a memory resistance line. If price breaks out of that, you may take a breakout entry in this stock. Another possibility is if the stock goes down little bit and tilts up again, that may give a trend following go with flow long trade setup. PFGC, the second stock in food distributors industry. This stock also went down while the industry was weak. Made a false downside breakout at the weekly watermark level. This week, after earnings, price strongly went up. The weekly candle color and shape both turned bullish. This week had very high activity. In the daily chart, it gapped up after earnings and since then it is maintaining the candle color as bullish. If price goes up next week, that may give us a low risk breakout long entry opportunity or if price goes down little bit and then tilts up again that may give us a trend following go with flow long trade opportunity. From the best performing industries we move to the worst performing industries because these industries are weak 
you are going to look for short opportunities in them. Distributors is an industry that is very weak this week. In fact, the worst performing industry with score 1 and it was weak one week ago also. In this industry, C-O-R-E is medium value with negative annual earnings growth. This stock gave a headwind reversal short setup at the very top on 31st October. The stock fell by 23.9% this week. Looking at the headwind reversal short setup at minimum, you could protect your long position and you could also take a short trade to profit handsomely from the subsequent price. This is an example where you could combine the Q charts weakness displayed by the headwind signal and the industry's weakness to protect profit in long position and also take a very profitable short trade. In Q Edge industry scorecard and heat map, the worst performing industries are shown with magenta color over 5 days column. Distributors is the worst performing industry and from the magenta color you can see it has been weak for a while. Prior to that it was very strong. Using 360 degrees approach you would look for only short setups in this industry. And you would look for them in weak fundamental stocks. Let us drill down to find out the weak stocks in distributors industry. From the color coding you can instantly see that C-O-R-E is medium valued. The valuation primary column is in yellow color. And though it has earnings growth in last two quarters, the yearly growth is still negative, minus 25% yearly annual growth. Therefore, fundamentally, the stock is still weak in terms of earnings growth. Revenue growth in the latest quarter is also negative. Earnings quality is poor as shown by the magenta color under earnings quality column. Looking at the industry's weakness and the negative earnings growth, poor earnings quality, you could start to look for potential short setups on Q charts. C-O-R-E in the weekly chart, it displayed a bearish headwind at the very top. Price tried to go above the watermark resistance level, created a false upside breakout, and then price dropped heavily with very high activity. While the false upside breakout was happening in the weekly chart, in the daily chart, it displayed a bearish headwind at the very top. At that time, the weekly candle color was neutral. Therefore, this bearish headwind signal also gave us a reversal trade setup. Headwind short trade setup. You could take the shot right at the close of this candle, put stop above recent high and book profit at least partial profit once the risk distance was covered. You could book partial profit at the yellow direction line. Price has dropped sharply below that. The industry is weak. Fundamentals are weak. Technicals are very weak. This is a case where you would not like to book full profit but hold partial position trying to let profit run. In this example, you could combine the bearish headwind signal, the possible reversal signal, to take a very profitable short trade in a stock that was fundamentally weak and in an industry that was weak at the same time. Other than looking for 
long trades in best performing industries, we also look for them in accelerating industries. The accelerating industries can be identified from Q edge pace column. The accelerating industries may be behind others but are gaining pace fast. Finding a long opportunity in them may allow you to buy the stocks at the very low price. We are looking at the accelerating industries 5 days and 10 days scores. You can see for all the industries the scores improved significantly. These are 10 of the most accelerating industries. You can find additional accelerating industries from QEdge industry scorecard and heat map. From QEdge you can see that tracking is also one of the accelerating industries. This industry was weak earlier. In this industry HTZ has high earnings growth in last two quarters. On 25th October HTZ gave a bounce long setup at quarterly pivot in the daily chart as well as at watermark pivot support. In fact, it formed a double bottom in the weekly chart at the same time. The double bottom was at a price level from where price started to go up before the earnings of August 2018. And now, before the earnings of November 2018, the price started to move up from the same price level. That gave us a bounce long trade setup from multiple supports. Since the bounce signal, the stock has gone up by 36.9%. You could take this trade confidently by looking at the acceleration of the industry, the fundamental strength earnings growth of HTC, and also the Q unambiguous bounce reversal trade setup at pivot support level. In QH, the accelerating industries are shown by cyan color under page 5 days column. These are the most accelerating industries. Tracking caught my attention because it is accelerating and it is already strong. The strength is shown by cyan color under 5 days column. Acceleration is shown by sand color under base 5 days column. And looking to the right, I saw that tracking was weak earlier, magenta color, and now it turned stronger. Therefore, if you could find a strong fundamental stock at an optimal buy point, you could probably have a very profitable swing long trade opportunity as well as a possible long term buy opportunity. To find the fundamentally strongest stocks in tracking, we can drill down. Heart, it is not optimally valued anymore. However, it has strong earnings growth in two successive quarters. We don't expect a stock to be of good valuation and high earnings growth at the same time. We can look for a buy opportunity. if one of these conditions are met, either the stock having high growth, earnings growth or having good valuation. In this case, HTZ had high earnings growth. The last step would be to look for an unambiguous trade setup on Q charts and that came as a bounce trade setup. Let us look at Q charts for HTZ. Prior to the earnings of August, HTC started to go up from this watermark level. Subsequently, price drop created a false downside breakout at that watermark level and then price went up for two successive weeks. Just before earnings, the same thing that happened one quarter earlier. 
at the same time in the daily chart price created a false downside breakout there was heavy activity on the down day followed by a reversal day that displayed the bull release signal as price dropped sharply to a deep watermark level and reversed from there it gave us a bounce long buy opportunity on this day you could buy right at the close of that day putting stop just below recent low as the stock went up you could book partial profit at the yellow direction line and continue to hold remaining position with trailing stop in such a way that the entire trade would be risk free from then onward after earnings the stock went up further resulting in even higher profit at the right edge the stock is very strong on technical charts it has high earnings growth and the industry is accelerating and strong therefore in this case you would like to continue to hold partial position trying to let profit run lastly we discuss the decelerating industries these industries may be ahead of others but are losing momentum fast you can see their 5 day scores are significantly lower than their 10 day scores because they are decelerating you are going to look for short setups in these industries home furnishing retail is one of the weakening industries snbr in this industry has negative earnings growth for three successive quarters it displayed bearish headwind on this friday in the daily chart prices at the level where weekly chart displayed bearish headwind in february before price drop it is also at a double top in the weekly because it has displayed bearish headwind in the daily chart at a resistance level pivot resistance in the weekly chart you may watch this stock for a low risk short opportunity in the coming days the decelerating industries are shown by magenta color under 5 days base column home furnishing retail is one of the decelerating industries and it is already weak as you can see from the magenta color under 5 days score column looking to the right you can see it was stronger earlier shown by the cyan color if you can identify a short setup in this industry preferably in a weak fundamental stock you might be able to catch the stock at a very high point shorting it at the highest possible level let us drill down to look for weak fundamental stocks from the color coding we can see snbr has good valuation however it has negative earnings growth for two successive quarters the stock is at a very high level only 4.12% below 52 week high this is a stock in a weakening industry decelerating industry the stock's earnings growth is going down and it is at a very high price level these are the situations where you may get the best short opportunities the short opportunities will be confirmed on q charts using unambiguous trade setups let's have a look at the q charts for snbr snbr in the weekly chart price went up the industry was also strong earlier this week price hit the watermark resistance in the weekly chart and closed significantly below that creating a false upside breakout the watermark resistance is at the level where bearish headwind displayed earlier prior to a sharp price drop 
In the daily chart, this Friday, we have a bearish headwind signal. The chart is showing weakness by displaying the bearish headwind and a false upside breakout in the weekly chart. If next week price continues to go down and the industry is weak at the same time, you may look for a very low risk short opportunity in this stock. Those were our regular topics. Let me summarize. After sharp price drop in recent period, for two successive weeks, price tried to go up. However, the broad indices continue to be in the downtrend. The internals are also weak this week. The market ETFs are at value area. They are showing mixed picture. If price continues to go up from here, we may have swing long opportunity in SPY and DIA. And if market goes down, we may have swing short opportunity in IWM. You may see first where the market is going next week before deciding your swing trade direction. Whatever be the market direction, you can always find low risk 360 degrees trade opportunities by combining the strength or weakness of sector and industry of fundamentals and technicals. That is all that I wanted to share in today's session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Have a great weekend and trade profitably.